Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Mackenzie, what is your favorite animal on the ranch? Cows. Cows. And what is your what's your second favorite animal on the ranch? Horses. Okay. What <laughs> what is your third favorite animal on the ranch? Chicks. Baby chicks. And that's very good because we have baby chicks on the ranch right now. Right? Right. All right. <laughs> This week on Our Wyoming Life, we get to take a look at brand new baby chicks, a brand new addition to the ranch. Uh, we're going to actually triple our chicken inventory. That means triple the eggs and triple the work. We're going to take you from the beginning to the end. We've also got a really cool new toy coming up uh, that we can use to wash eggs, and uh, that'll be really cool as well. So stick around. It's all coming up on Our Wyoming, Wyoming Life. Life. Welcome to Our Wyoming Life, where three times per week we get a chance to bring you along with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Please subscribe, like, and hit that little bell so you get the notifications when we post a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. New life is rampant on the ranch. Not only are calves being born every day, but now is also that time of the year when we replenish the other members of our herd. A few months ago, we ordered new chickens, and Aaron snuck in a few ducks in there as well. And today, they arrive and are introduced to their new life on the ranch. I had this chick book, and I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. So I'm going to tell you some facts about chicks and chickens. Each and every year, we replenish our flock of chickens. And for the last few years, we've been keeping that number down at around 35 birds. On average, a chicken will lay two eggs every three days, or two thirds of an egg per day per chicken. When all 35 of our chickens are laying eggs, that's about two dozen eggs per day. This year, we're ramping things up a bit. A few years ago, I built our chicken house. It's 24 feet square, or 576 square feet. Not all of it's used for chickens, and there is a small storage area, but this chicken house can easily be home to over 100 chickens. There are 20 separate nests for them to lay eggs in, and soon all will be put back into use. We raise chickens solely for their eggs. Each and every day we collect them and store them until it's time to sell them. Then, right before they go to our customers, we wash them and package them. But we're gonna get to all that. First, we need chickens. More precisely, we need chicks. And holy smokes, did we get them. And you might know that they don't get born very cute, but then they turn into, but then their feathers turn into this, which, which is called down. I knew Aaron ordered a lot of chickens back in February, but when they arrived, the realities of the numbers hit me like a brick. Arriving via post office, we received 60 new chickens and eight new ducks. Add that to our existing flock of 35, and we'll have 95 chickens laying at some point in the near future. At the rate we figured out earlier, we'll get about 63 eggs per day, or around five dozen. With Mackenzie at school, Grace and Lincoln gather around to help welcome the new chickens and ducks to the ranch. Well, to our kitchen, to start with. Each and every new bird needs a drink. From the time they were hatched until the time they arrive here, they haven't had any food or water. Just prior to hatching, a chick absorbs all the remaining nutrients from within its egg. With this nourishment, the chick can survive for up to three days without food or water. But this group is now hungry and thirsty, and a little bit of sugar water is just what the doctor ordered to get them up and moving. All but one. One little chick is having trouble. And the only way that we have to help her is to warm her up, placing her on a heating pad and hoping for the best. In the shop, we can start preparing a new home for our newest arrivals. This chicken brooder was built a few years ago in response to a fire we had in our chicken house. Back then, we would move chicks into the chicken house a little bit earlier than we do now, where they could be safe, or so we thought. They knocked down a heat lamp and almost burned the entire building down. Luckily, we caught it in time and our local fire department was able to put it out. 
that ordeal made us realize that we needed a new way to keep chicks out of the chicken house until they're a little older. By building this brooder using a pallet for the base and a two x four frame and covered with particle board, we now have a safe place for our chicks to grow up for the first month or so of their lives. Although it is gonna get a little crowded in there. Covering the base with paper makes it easy to clean. And after a quick vacuum and we replace the paper base, we're ready to go. Back in the house, Aaron is just finishing up what we call dipping and getting the new chicks and ducks their first drinks. Our sick little girl is still on her heating pad and although not doing great, she is showing signs of life and looks almost 100% better. Then it's time to move all the new little ones into the shop and their new home. Aaron first adds a new heat light bulb, then fresh wood shavings to the brooder. After which, it's time to start adding chicks. Of our 60 new chicks, we have received black laced golden Wyandot, silver Wyandot, buff Orpingtons, cherry agers, Colombian Wyandot, and white leghorns. There can be uh, more than 100 breeds of chickens in the world. We also got ducks. Why? Because some of our customers are allergic to chicken eggs, but they can eat duck eggs no problem. Also, duck eggs work great for baking because duck eggs contain more fat, which in turn makes baked goods richer. For ducks, we have Ancona, black runner ducks, Cayuga, and white runner ducks. All of these fit nicely in the brooder for now. Water is brought in as well as food. Our last chick, who was on death's door only a few minutes ago, is now up and alert and ready to go in with her friends as well. And they grow feathers in three or four months, and then they start work, and then when they're baby chicks, they like to explore and run with the fellow chicks and their mother. One thing that's great about chickens, around here at least, is how they really do become a family endeavor. With chickens, everybody pitches in. And as the new baby chicks get used to their home, the girls head out to do their daily chicken chores, collecting eggs. With farmer's market tomorrow, the girls will also be washing eggs today as well, with the help of the little egg scrubber. The little egg scrubber is a brand new innovation in washing eggs, invented and manufactured right here in the USA, in Vermont actually. Commercial egg washers cost upwards of thousands of dollars, and with our increased production, we realized we needed to come up with a faster way to wash eggs. With the little egg scrubber, you can wash up to 700 eggs per hour, and it's easy enough that a four-year-old and a seven-year-old take to it like ducks in water. The little egg scrubber folks also included an enzyme pre-soak, which we take care of for the kids, adding a tablespoon or so to a five gallon bucket to help remove stains and organic contaminants. The girls finish washing their two dozen eggs in about three minutes, and then it's off to packaging. Eventually, mom and dad get to play with it too. And I have to say, it does make the process go a lot faster. Once you get into a groove, you can constantly be washing eggs as you set them up for drying. Washing 18 dozen eggs in about a half an hour. A process that by hand could have taken easily twice that. Chickens have been labeled as the gateway livestock. And the reasons are clear. And the reasons to raise them are too many to count. We don't raise them to make money off the eggs. In fact, we rarely do. But by selling the eggs, we can demonstrate to our customers the value of a farm fresh product. If you want fresh, try an egg that's only a few days old, as opposed to eggs in the grocery store 
that can be as old as six weeks. Chickens eat insects and weeds. They eat table scraps and they create great fertilizer. And they teach kids about responsibility and where their food comes from and give back in a way that kids can instantly recognize whether it's hard boiled or over easy. Best of all, you don't have to walk them and they aren't gonna eat your toys or chew up your favorite shoes. Thanks for coming along with us today. If you're interested in raising your own backyard chickens, I've included a few links in the description to help you get started, as well as a link to the little egg scrubber for those of you that need to free up some time from washing eggs by hand. If you made it this far, why not go one more step and peck that subscribe button and come along with us as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. I'll see you next time. Until then, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.